folks welcome back thanks for joining me um right a little bit different today uh we're going to go for something a little bit more gaudy than usual nice big lure um with uh the new season the new reservoir season in mind um you're going to be going out on opening weekend and you're going to be fishing for thousands of stockies and lots and lots of fish that have never seen a fly or haven't seen a fly for three months um so this is going to be a, a guaranteed fish killer this one it's a variation of the grizzle cat uh, nice easy to tie lure and very very effective early season lure so um the uh, hook of the vice is a 175 size 10 uh, sorry size 8 and the bead uh, 3.2 mil uh, fluoro orange bead there um thread for this is a utc 140 in white so let's just work that on and get that started uh, as always if you're enjoying the videos please click like click subscribe and um I'll try and get some variety going again. I've got a couple of fishing videos and making and um, et cetera, et cetera. So it's been nice to get out and do something different again. Um, the tail for this is uh, white marabou. So nice big plume of white marabou there. And I'm going to select a decent hank of that um, because this is a lure with loads of movement in it. Nice big hank. And then just going to tear that off and marry that up sort of what length i want i'm not massively long you know too long and you might as well be fishing a snake but something that's going to be i would have said two and a half times you know two two and a half times the length of the hook so that's about right there so i'm just going to trim that rubbish off there and then catch this in right behind the bead to give me a nice equal even body profile and work that all the way down Smashing, lovely, okay. A little bit of flash in the towel here. Um, I'm going to use this stuff. It's a uh, just a mixture of um, UV, silver, a bit of neon in there as well, I think. I'm going to try and select that half a dozen strands. I'm not going to go over the top of the, 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 the flash of them that you need to. That's about right. So about half a dozen or so strands there. And I'm just going to cut that away from the hank. Um, a uh, little trick with this is if you wet it, uh, it just helps keep it together while you're dealing with it. It stops it from coming apart. So I'll just wet that. I'm going to offer that side up to be about the length of the tail. I don't want it coming longer than the tail. Just just want it stopping short. So I'm going to tie that in on that side. Just catch that in on that side when I'm happy. Yeah, that do. And then with the other half of it there, pull it around on my side and the same thing there. It's trapped in both sides, it's got equal amounts here, both sides. I'm just going to trim my side off here so it's just short of the tail. Lovely. Okay, we're going to put a little bit of a hackle on this fly. So uh, it's, it's this stage I'm going to need to put a rib in there just to secure the hackle. Um, you can use any rib you want. It's going to get lost in the tie anyhow. So I'm just going to use um, silver wire. So I'll just take off a length of silver wire just a medium fine silver wire catch that in at this stage now i think classically this fly was tied with a uh, chanel and i'm going to use a straggle fritz instead just sound a bit different i'm going to use a, a fluoro straggle fritz just to be a bit different i like the way straggle fritz moves i like it way it beds down in the water and when it gets wet um, it's a cracking material loads of life loads of movement so i've just stripped that back there and i'm going to catch it in behind it back here and then work the thread back up to just behind the eye and we're going to bring this up in nice touching turns trying to get that struggle with face backwards if we can all the way up just wet your fingers as you go up you should work it backwards Lovely. You can get plenty of this on the hook. That's what gives it so much mood. It gives it some really lovely movement. And this looks awesome in the water when it gets wet. It really does. And then we're just going to finish that off just at the head there. Brilliant. What a fly. <laughs> I'm giggling <laughs> to myself. I'm just thinking of those poor old stockies when they see their very first fly and they see this whizzing past. Um, they're not going to be able to help themselves. It's, uh, yeah. It screams early season new stockies and why not kind of a bit of fun 
So I'm just pushing that back up a little bit just to give you a bit of body shape there. Um, and then I'm going to take a, a hackle and go back through this. So I've selected just from a, a cheap Chinese cock uh, cape there as a, as a, a grizzle style hackle. I've just selected a um, from the center there, a feather. It's just going to give it a bit of extra shape. I'm just stripping that feather back just to cool, get myself a little bit of a gap um, like that. So I'll show you on that side. And then I'm just going to catch that in behind the head. Lovely. I'll just catch that in and tidy all this up the top here in a minute anyhow. And then we're just going to try and get a turn in front of the head and then just work it back down through this straggle. Just gives it a bit of shape because this straggle is going to get very wet and bed down. And this won't. Okay, this is going to stay quite stiff and mobile. We'll just bring that back down to the tail. Lovely. And then come up with your silver wire. Trap that in up through the body with the silver wire. Just trapping everything back as you go. Finish off in front of the head. A couple of turns. And secure Trim off your wire, trim off your hackle, Just pull everything back out of the way of the eye there, and we're going to come in here and put a little bit of glisser dub in here just to finish it off as well. This looks much, yeah, you, you'll see how it works when it gets wet because the uh, um, the struggle fritz will lay flat but this this hackle will actually stay and it creates a fuss in the water um, it doesn't look like much now but it works a treat so a little bit of um, glister dub there this is a little bit of um, chartreuse just to finish this head off nicely just take a pinch of that and uh, dub that onto your thread yeah, check this out on a DI3 or something and a slow rolly poly back, just following around all the drop offs and around the stocking areas and um <laughs> it's gonna be carnage. So I get a couple of turns of this in there like that. And then just bring it forward and finish up just behind the eye there. Um with your finish tool. Like that. Brilliant. Oh, I bet this will pick up plenty of residents as well. This isn't just a stocky fly. This will pick up plenty of residents. I haven't seen a fly for ages. In with your dubbing brush. And then just tease some of that out. Fuss. Fuss. We like fuss and a lure. And this is a fussy lure. It's a, as I say, it's a variation. But it's one I've used. and I like it. I love the shape. It just creates a nice shape. That dubbing there, that uh, hackle in there, just keeps that the, the body from collapsing too much it just keeps that shape out there and in here we're going to finish with a little bit of varnish and we're also going to make sure you get a little bit of varnish in the uh, on the head as well just to protect the bead it doesn't do any harm to protect the bead and there you have it and there's one of my little variation on the straggle cap um, lovely fly with loads and loads of fuss and it's these flies with fuss that trout absolutely love and uh, you just know that that's going to get eaten as soon as you throw that out on the april the first on any reservoir in the country that will get eaten <laughs> so i hope you enjoyed that it was a little bit of fun um as always please click like click subscribe and uh, i'll keep popping these videos out for you thanks very much for watching